Hello everybody, FooseMC here, and today we're going to take a quick look at port forwarding. Um, this is for those of you that want to know how to run a server on your own system from home. We're not going to get into the whole over the internet. There are easy ways of doing that. Um, I would actually recommend taking a look at noip.com and possibly setting up that. It's uh, something you have to renew on a month-to-month -month basis. Um, for one uh, host redirect, I believe it is, it is actually free. And I've used it several times and still use it to this day for some servers. Unfortunately, at this time, I can't run a server because my system is been has been messing up. And I'm needing to actually uh, get a new one. Okay, first we're going to start by, if you look in the address bar, the address. Um, now you don't need to type in this whole thing, but if you go to Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or Firefox and type in that number, that number should be the same on everybody's network. Um, that is the local address for your uh, network, uh, your modem, yeah, or your router. Um, that is the number you need to type in, hit enter, it'll bring you to a login screen and then you will log in. Now most uh, modems nowadays are a lot easier, they have a few easy simple um, setups for port forwarding and this is one of those. Um, as you can see I'm running uh, Xfinity. Alright so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to advanced. Okay you're going to need to know what your IP address is. Um, this is what mine is listed under, um, not the IP, the, uh, I can't think of what the, it's called now, the, yeah, the local IP, um, the network address. So, uh, you're going to have a list of things. I've got several computers connected and running and server and, yeah. So, in here, um, uh, let see, can we find the connections? Hmm. No, actually I can't. I should have thought about this before I came through and... Oh. Don't know why that went to that. Okay, so you're going to need to know what your local one is and I believe actually find it somewhere here. Mine tells me just the name of the computer. But, uh... Hmm. Well, okay, so you're going to need to know what that is. That is my main computer that I am on right now. I do know that the IP is the the ten dot zero dot zero dot three um you're most likely not gonna have that many on there and it's most likely gonna be two three or four or something like that if it's your main system that you're running all right so first of all we're gonna go to advanced uh i guess i took too long huh Isn't wrong. Okay, so I'll go to advanced, and this is where you're going to find the uh, ability to port forward. And you see, we have it right there. So, and the port triggering, I honestly don't know. Actually, most of this I don't really know. Um, okay, so here, as you can see, 
excuse me, I have uh, the IP address, everything is forwarded to that. And I am actually forwarding the typical Minecraft. And for some reason I got it in here. Oh, because I was running multiple servers on this system at one time. So I actually used the, um, whatchamacallit, the port for that one also. So, all right. And basically, if you just click on Add, it will give you common services. Uh, for this, I would do other and just type in like Minecraft or Crack Pack. You want it to be the TCP and UDP. And here is where you're going to type in the things. This is the one that you're going to have to change to whichever you know, the system is that you're on. And starting port. Okay, starting port, this could be a range of numbers. Um, the uh, actual one that Minecraft uses is the 2. 5565 five, and uh, what you can do is you can actually set this anywhere from 0 to 8000 actually it'd be 80,000 I guess you have a lot of options for ports and then you set the ending port which would be your highest number alright so like if you're gonna start a typical Minecraft you're going to be doing two five five six five and then down here you'd want two five five six five or if you wanted to add a range you can do like say seven oh that gives you five ports that you can use to run minecraft servers on so yeah I'm not gonna go ahead and set this up because I don't really need it at this moment but yeah so that's how you set that up. All right, well, that's about it for now. I'm sorry it's kind of brief and not real entertaining, but I wanted to at least put this out there so that before I get the question, I already have it answered for you. All right, and hopefully soon I can possibly do a uh, tutorial on how to set it up to noip.com. Um, if I don't have one out by the time you see this, just Google noip.com and it's very simple. It has a quick download that you have to download and you sign up, put in some few basic information and it will actually set it up for you so that you can give people a web address to put in their Minecraft to actually connect to your server. Alrighty, so that's all for now. Um, thank you for watching. If this helped, please leave a like. It's Boost MC. I'm out. Bye-bye.